How close can I get? <laughs> Hello! Welcome to another series of blooms for you. I'm just experimenting here in your face. Zoom galore for Dendrobium hibiki. It's hibiki time! Hooray! I am so... Ugh, this orchid just has me going all gaga. Je m'excuse. All right, let's zoom out. Dendrobium hibiki, thank you for being here. Thank you, too, for being here, clicking on this video and watching another episode of Blooms for You. I've just gone through and uh, counted the clusters as best as I could. I have 17 clusters on my Dendrobium hibiki this year. I believe I had 14 last year. Don't remember exactly. Anyway, lots. How about that? Can we just agree on lots? Lots and lots of beauty. Oh, look it, look it, look it. I mean, oh my goodness. I know, I'm sorry. Um, thank you for your patience. Thank you for coming here and tolerating a geek out on Hibiki time. Look at that. How can you not? Anyway, clearly, clearly, I'm giving this a go around, but it's because it is for you. At the opening sequence of Every Bloom's For You, I choose an orchid that has clusters, preferably a mass blooming that I can dedicate to everybody that watches this video. I really appreciate your time. So my Dendrobium hibiki blooms for you. Sometimes it doesn't really work out that way. So one bloom would have to suffice for everybody that watches this video. But the rest of this video has clips from yesterday, day before, a week ago, because there were orchids there that I have to film at their prime and the blooms would fade by the time the video was to come out. So we're going to go back in time a little bit, but there are still some gorgeous blooms that I captured that I managed to film at their prime and dedicate to specific names of my list of commenters and people that have subscribed. So if you haven't subscribed yet and you haven't left a comment ever on my channel. Let me know that you're here. Let me know so that I can put you on the list of the blooms for you. I am slowly, slowly, slowly creeping to the end of 2020, moving my way into 2021. We have to wait for the blooms. But anyway, I babble because when I'm looking at my viewfinder, I just love it. And with this view in front of me, I lose track of time. <laughs> right. Let's go and have a look, see what is at present day already out of bloom, but what I managed to capture and dedicate and whose name has come up this time. Zooming in on these cuties again and quickly, but definitely going to take my time to say thank you so much to Joshua Waymeyer. I have my fourth bloom of the Jumelia arborescens open. That would be this one, but I have to grab this clip even if by the time that this video airs, these blooms will have faded. Because if I wait, poof, it'll be gone, just like a little ghost. Now you see it, now you don't. These blooms are extremely short-lived, so I really want to take advantage. The fact that I can do a Blooms For You series and I don't have to wait and wait and wait, I can compile clips to show blooms at their prime. Joshua Waymeyer, that is why right now, because I still have somewhat three blooms left on this beautiful orchid. That's why my little Caspar here, the fourth bloom, opened two days ago, and I have to grab the clip now, because you can see that these little guys left and right flanking number four are already showing signs of decline on their top sepal. So Joshua Waymeyer, my Jumelia Aborescens fourth bloom blooms for you to say thank you ever so much for your support on my channel. If I zoom out, it doesn't look so bad. <laughs> and the other blooms don't look so bad. They still look quite nice in the sunshine there. Bloom number five will be open soon, but I can't wait. If I wait now for bloom number five to open, I will lose the effect of the other two. That's how quickly this orchid loses its blooms. Still, I love it to bits. It's a cutie. It doesn't take up much space. It doesn't have that strong of a fragrance, not even at night, but I don't mind as it is not occupying any of my shelf space in such a way that a four day bloom duration would warrant not having it. Jumelia aborescens is here to stay. 
Thank you, Joshua Waymeyer. Appreciate your support. Hope everything is going well in your part of the world. Here are the two birds that I posted on my community post that are pretty much at eye level. <laughs> Stanhopias, yes, there is no manana when it comes to filming these blooms. They have opened. The only thing I can say is thank goodness for the blooms for you concept. I can film and then post the clips as and when the video comes out. But by that time, these blooms will have faded, just like with the Jomelia blooms. At least I can dedicate them. And I have nine blooms to dedicate today. Bear with me. Let me just get the names out there and then I'll show you what I'm up against here in my blooming alley. So there's nine blooms and a bloom each for Amanda Giovet, Siamlal O'Hare, Sherry Fensom, Arlene Rose Renders, Home Map Design TKB, Shannon Wingo, Valerie Doherty, Tyler Body, and Porta Dalu. All of you, I just want to say thank you very, very much for your support here on my channel. I am going to do my best to film what is going on so that you can all see your blooms of my Stanhopia. <laughs> this is insane. Um, <clears throat> let's try. Bear with me and thank you for your patience, all right? So we've got two blooms up here peeking out over the basket. We've got three blooms down here that made it through the bottom of the basket. And yes, here we go. This is going to be awkward, but we're going to get, we, we, we've got to try. All right, so there's three blooms right there. The two blooms up here. And then the other piece, there's four blooms right here. I have to chuckle because my blooming alley is crowded. These stands have made it almost impossible to maneuver. And the amount of bending I've been doing over the past weeks, yes. But you know what? It's worth it. It really is worth it. I am absolutely amazed and in awe. We've got three more to come. So there will be staggered stand clips in another video. But this is currently the spectacle of my blooming alley. Sorry if that didn't go down too well and I made you a little bit ill. I do apologize. How far back do I go? <laughs> How far? Something like that? There we go. I mean, it is insane. I could try it from the other angle, but then the sun isn't working for me. It's doing a great job. I'm loving the temperatures, but yeah, for filming, it's all a little bit, it's complicated. <laughs> But, however, I am being knocked out by a wall of fragrance. The four blooms that were on this basket right here, that they've already faded, so I cut that off. The four blooms were powerful. They really were. I could smell them absolutely everywhere. No matter where I went on my patio, the four blooms, very, very powerful, cinnamon chewing gum. And I always say, Big Red comes to mind, the brand Big Red. And now with nine blooms, it is intense. It's like going through a wall of a cinnamon cookie factory and you just can't get away from it. It's in your clothes. You know that fragrance that you, you have it in your nostrils even when the fragrance has already gone. Usually we associate that with something negative. You can't wash it off. Meanwhile, I don't care about this one. I don't want to wash it off. It is absolutely divine. But to have nine of them bloom all at once, I am surprised I'm not being inundated by pollinators here. So, <laughs> I mean, what's not to like? They are absolutely beautiful. Let me just read those names out one more time. Amanda Jovet, Siamlal O'Hare, Sherry Fensom, Arlene Rose Renders, Home Map Design TKB, Shannon Wingo, Valerie Doherty, Tyler Body, and Porta Dalu. Shall we try and get in there one more time? Let me bring everything down a little bit because then I can lift the camera up a little bit easier. I think they're worth one more look. The three that are in bud there right now, they will be open tomorrow. And then I'm going to be doing another quick clip because then I've got 12 blooms open all at once. <laughs> but the other ones here that are open now, all of them, these guys are two days old. 
And these guys are one day old. And it's best to get them at one day old because afterwards, the colors of the blooms will start to bleed into each other, the dots and stuff. And then all of a sudden they're gone. And you're like, oh, what just happened? Did it happen? And it did because footage like this proves it, it did happen. I'm a bit bummed about the fact that I had to cut my basket. Oh, insanity. Let me just show you in relation to my hand, the size, this is my hand, the size of the bloom. They're, they're huge, <laughs> beautiful, and super, super fragrant, as I mentioned. Oh, the sun's gone down behind a cloud for a moment. That's nice, there we go. That helped. I know that these clips with my stands are a little bit longer than I normally do. I hope that doesn't bore you. There are timestamps <laughs> if you're like, okay, enough of this already. <laughs> but I just love them. I just love them. And I think for a bloom dedication to see something like this up close, well, well, well. Thank you to all of you so very, very much for your support on my channel. Nine blooms on my two stands. Your support is so very, very much appreciated. Doesn't look like much, huh? Not much to dedicate, but wait, 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 wait. Let me count with you again. First spike is a goner. So let's get rid of that so that we can appreciate what else is going on. There we go. Easy. Now, second spike down here, third spike over there, coming along nicely. And here we are for Arturo and D. Wesson. Got the fourth and the fifth spike. Open, pristine, beautiful, and divine fragrance at night. And I find myself in my blooming alley. She is at eye level. And I just stand there and inhale because of that gorgeous, exquisite, elegant lemon sugar fragrance that she exudes. Even now, it is late afternoon. It is starting to give me a little bit of a fragrance, but the real, real pop comes at night. And it doesn't stop. By the time I come down in the morning, there's still a hint of the fragrance. And then as the day gets warmer, it will be gone. But Arturo D. Wesson, spike number four and five, they bloom for you to say thank you so very much for your support on my channel. Isn't she pretty? Oh, I love this. This is amazing and we have two more spikes to go if I'm not mistaken. This is her pretty, pretty side. Spike four and five. And we zoom out, we can include spike number two. <laughs> Arturo and D. Wesson, your support here on my channel is so very much appreciated. I really sincerely hope that you're doing well. My Neo Phoenicia Falcata blooms for you. Isn't this a fabulous little bowl of goodness? A bowl of Coilostylus ciliaris variety or steady eye. Full bloom now, and that would be five spikes if I'm not mistaken, if my notes don't deceive me. Let's see, we've got one here, one here, that's two, three, four, and the newest spike to open with two buds is for MS Grismelda. Look, even the bowl turns itself perfectly in its mask. These two blooms, MS Cruzmelda, are for you to say thank you very, very much for your support here on my channel. It is a pleasure for me to give to you the two blooms of my final spike from my Coilostylus ciliaris variety or steady eye, and also to be able to show it in full bloom now. It won't last very long. The first spike eventually will tire. But if the weather holds up and it doesn't get so blistering hot and the winds give us a little bit of grace, then these should last at least another week to 10 days in full bloom, open all together. Absolutely darling, love this little bowl of goodness. 
This orchid is doing really, really well. There's still some new growth coming. There's still more around the pot. They won't be blooming this year, but they're adding bulk to the orchid. So we're going to have more roots from these growths. They're going to make the whole orchid more stronger, which is always, always a good thing. MS Grismelda, I babble. I'm enthusiastic. I'm distracted. All the good stuff that a ciliaris does to me. <laughs> these two blooms with a Gorgeous, gorgeous, very faint, lemony fragrance. At night, they bloom for you. Thank you so very, very much for your support here on my channel. Two very, very special blooms opened for me yesterday. Before I get into them and tell you a little bit more about them, let me say thank you to Gino Croci and Logahana or Lojahana. I am not entirely sure which way to pronounce that, but the names are on the screen if you are in doubt, whether it is you or not, Gino Croci and Logajana. That's how I would pronounce it. I may be completely off the mark, so forgive me, correct me in the comments. Let me introduce you to this next summer bloomer in my collection. This is Balanopsis KTC Kao Kichakut, crossed with Corningiana. And yes, it took me a long time to get used to these blooms because the picture that I bought them for, thinking I'm gonna get something completely different, has absolutely nothing to do with these blooms. It did take me a while to appreciate their beauty, nonetheless, even if it was not what I was hoping to get. I have also been corrected that it is in actual fact not mislabeled, but from seedlings and the blooms may vary. Oh well, let them vary. I'm okay with it now. I've come to terms with this beautiful, beautiful bloom of my Phalaenopsis KTC Kao Kichakut crossed with Corningiana. I think there's a lot of hieroglyphica in her. Sorry for the fluttering in the background there. Let me make sure my puppy isn't destroying something. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, hieroglyphica in her and especially obvious by that lip. The fuzzy fuzziness of the lip there. That is definitely hieroglyphica traits right there. And to be honest, I absolutely love it now. I was looking forward to them this year, despite the disappointment of last year. And the little trooper has developed a second spike. This is the new spike. This spike was from last year, being a sequential bloomer. And here we have a second spike coming with two more buds. So the orchid itself looks very, very tiny, very, very weak but she seems to have enough energy to do what she is doing. So I'm going to let her because it is a pleasure for me to see these little blooms that really aren't fragrant. Eh, you could say plastic. Well, summer bloomers normally are so renowned for their gorgeous fragrance, but uh, yeah, no, these not so much. I guess they make up for it in their markings. So these two blooms are for Gino Croci and Loga Jana. Thank you both of you so very, very much for your support of my channel. My little Phalaenopsis KTC Kao Chakut, crossed with Corningiana. These two blooms are for you. Your support of my channel is super, super appreciated. You see them all scuttling? Look at them. So that's what I do so that I can either get a whiff of their fragrance and I just kind of annoy the ants. But what I wanted to show you here, first of all, first of all, let me just say thank you so very, very much to Nurka Javier. This is Papilionance Teres variety under Sonii. And for you, Nurka Javier, these are my three blooms and one bud. But there's a reason for that. You saw all the ants scuttling away. But have I had such an ant issue that I am now seeing ants even if there are none? Because look at the bud. Yikes, there's two more. I don't want to keep doing this. If I have to, I will stop the video and start again. 
but I wanted to show you how busy these ants are because, because, bear with me, look at that bud. Now, isn't that classic ant head form? And this could be the bloom that is all hail to the ant goddess Papilionanthe Teres variety Andersoniae. Because look, yes, and that is why they're here. Well, no, not entirely, because they've been a bane of my existence all summer. Since, well, since the weather was warm enough to get them outside. All the time, every time, and in their hundreds. But it could be fitting that this bloom with its super funky bud, this would be the fourth bloom, has something that attracts them and they take care of her and they groom the blooms <laughs> some, just because it reminds them of themselves and this is their goddess. Who knows? Sorry, a stretch, I get it. But she is beautiful. I just wanted to show you what I see. Maybe I've had too many ant visions in the last four months. It's possible, but it, it actually looks like she's got a little, you know, there we go, with her little bonnet. She will probably open in two days, but I wanted to show you these blooms right now. Njurka, because they're also at their prime. The weather is getting hotter, the winds are getting drier and a little bit more stronger, and these are not very tough blooms. They're very, very delicate, but my goodness, they are gorgeous. Beautiful colors, perfect colors for this time of year, fresh and summery. And if I had a fragrance that I could talk about today, I would say, just from memory, it is a sweet floral fragrance, but I've got the Chao Praia up here, still beautifully fragrant like a violet. So I'm not getting any fragrance out of her as I did last year, but it was very sweet. It was very pleasant. If I can just take it down the road of roses, that is the safest bet. If my memory doesn't fail me, that's what we had last year, which I was very surprised. I was not expecting them to be fragrant. Njurka Javier. The ants don't know this, but now you know that this Papilionanthe Teres variety Andersoniae, she blooms for you. And yes, the fourth bloom will also be for you. And I hope that in future videos, I will be able to just zip by and show this little spike one more time. Thank you, Njurka, very, very much for your support on my channel. Super appreciate it. I hope everything is going well in your part of the world. In the event that the opening shot was a little bit too bright, <laughs> I, which can happen with Dendrobium hibiki, these colors are like in your face. So yes, I love them. Um, you can take off your sunglasses now and appreciate the blooms in a little bit more shade. Gorgeous, gorgeous, not fragrant, but yes, this color, this orchid is back in bloom in my blooming alley and I am over the moon really really pleased so i appreciate your time thank you so very very much dendrobium hibiki will be featured in many other blooms for you videos in the future because yay her blooms last a very long time have yourselves a wonderful day really appreciate having you here remember to leave me a comment let me know that you're here that you subscribe i'll put you on the list and then one day a bloom will be there for you stay safe take care have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye.